did a little shopping today. Stopped up at Masters Built Race Cars, Crowersville, Indiana. Picked us up a nice little spoiler sticker to polish off our project. Uh, we don't typically buy stickers and decals till all the work is done, but uh, I don't go up there very often and had the opportunity to pick this up without it getting ruined and shipping. So pretty excited about having this guy here, pretty pumped up. We don't have a door plate. Our chassis is kind of old. They didn't require them back when this was made. Yeah, we gotta put it in, it's gotta be 26 inches. So, you know, somewhere in this vicinity here, and then 16 inches height-wise. So from bar to bar, center to center, we're about 16 and a half. So it's going to fit in in this area here. What you filling in here? Oh, just our piece of metal. We got to weld in on the door bar side. Intrusion plate, they call it. It's the save your butt plate, is what it is. No, yes, my it's... butt's on the bottom. All right. We're going to start with one big plate. We're allowed to weld it in or tab it in. We're also allowed to cut it into smaller sections if it's necessary. Um, but we're going to try doing it one sheet and make this as easy as possible and as safe as possible. Uh, so this way we're up to date with all the local track safety standards. Again, our car is about a 2008 Masters built. Back then, you didn't need a plate in order to uh, meet safety standards. So uh, this is going to be one of our safety upgrades. Not really an update, but a safety upgrade. And if you notice right here next to me, underneath here, underneath our transmission is our old fuel cell. And at some point in time, before we hit the track in March, uh, we're going to be replacing this unit as well as a safety upgrade uh, for this upcoming racing season. So about to let the sparks fly and you're going to watch us struggle through or getting everything fit. So stay tuned. <laughs> Give it a good rub down so my hands don't get dirty either. Beautiful. We've got to get it so it protects the driver's cockpit area. Um, we're going to do our best to not have to take out the tub of this thing. If you've ever had to make and or remove and replace a tub in a late model, it's it's probably the least most favorite thing in my in my textbook. So we're going to do our best to keep everything in here. Uh, I've got everything ground down up top, ground down here at the bottom. We've got the uh, we're going to make a little place for a ground for the uh, for the welder. And then I'm going to work my magic on it. We're going to get this plate welded in oh, here. Oh, we're going to so, primer it first yeah, so we'll, she yeah, don't we're rust. Yeah, we're going to primer it too. We're going to do that before we start welding. <laughs> we got it going now. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to let her rip. Wait, hang. It's not perfect. Yeah, I, I put reference points on where I had it, but I ground them yeah, down. It's just scribble is all that is. Was it right there on the front of that bar, you think? Yes, it was. You just basically want to get it so you're tucking this corner right here well, in behind that bar. Get down here with a bar clamp and clamp that son of a gun somewhere. I only got two hands. That little corner was cut down just to, you know. Half an inch, an inch there. Right, well we can bounce all that. Yes we can, I like the sound of that. Let's see that. 
I'll show YouTube our sweet bandsaw setup here. And we use this little piece of wood right here, put down in here, and that makes it go. so much she won't flex as much now <laughs> you should have put slider tabs on it we can't even bolt 35 pounds of lead on it <laughs> we've had lead for two years and never bolted it on <laughs> I'm not saying she'll stop a show, speeding show bullet. The bottom welds there. Look pretty good. So we welded our eighth inch plate directly to our frame, and that was the easiest way. We welded it on top as well. Pretty happy with it. I think we're going to uh, call this one a wrap as soon as we get it painted. Get all this done. That way, tomorrow night we can uh, start bolting on uh, the rear end and some front end components. That's what I've been waiting for. You got runs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last video we covered the fact that I shouldn't be holding the can of spray paint. The fact that this one's completely sandwiched in between two pieces of sheet metal makes it acceptable that I can paint it. <laughs> We have completed our uh, intrusion plate here. Uh, Sam has painted it after we got done welding it. And uh, this is what we've come up with. It's eighth inch, 26 by 16. And uh, it turned out pretty good, really. We only had a one minor mishap. Kind of fell on us a little bit, but we uh, got it situated back in there and put a nice, you know, five inches weld here, another five inches weld here, and you know, about two or three, uh, three inch spots up in this area. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, should be putting in the rear end. Thank you. It's your signature. Your signature, thank you.